What makes Marlon Brando so handsome? Is he the most handsome actor or man who ever lived? Marlon Brando is considered so appealing because of his unique and striking features. It is hard to forget his chiseled jawline, intense gaze, and charismatic presence. His performances in films like A Streetcar Named Desire and The Godfather made him an iconic figure. But what is the main secret of his handsomeness? Let's find out together. Welcome to the Fair Pearls channel. We will speak about all aspects of his appeal one by one. First, we will start with his face analysis. Then, we will discuss his body and all the changes it had over time. We will speak about the physical exercises and diet that kept Brando in good shape. Please stay with us if you want to get a list of things to do to achieve a physique similar to Marlon Brando. In part 3, we will speak of the significant impact Brando had on the fashion industry. We are also planning to reveal what celebrities thought of Brando's handsomeness throughout his career. In the end, we are planning to debunk some rumors of plastic surgeries, concluding them as false or true. Part 1 Face Analysis Marlon Brando had several distinct facial features that contributed to his handsomeness. His face shape was a rectangle, giving the actor a high forehead and overall angular edges. Usually, a rectangle face shape is quite symmetrical in that the width of the forehead, jawline, and cheekbones are almost the same, and in our case, it reflects in the ideal bitemporal to bizygomatic ratio of the actor with perfect, prominent cheekbones. It is also the reason for his strong, masculine jawline, which gave Brando a chiseled and determined appearance. His eyes were intense and expressive, with a piercing gaze that could hold the attention of audiences. Why was his gaze so captivating for many? One of the main reasons is his eye-to-brow outside margin. Such an angle is just perfect, making Brando's eyes aesthetically pleasing and in harmony with other facial features. He also had a full, expressive mouth with an ideal filtrum to mouth length ratio. It was used to great effect in his performances, conveying a wide range of emotions through his facial expressions. Chin length to philtrum length ratio and chin angle are one of the best features of the actor. They both create a harmonious balance between the forehead, mid-face, and jawline. Brando's upper lip to lower lip ratio is at a perfect number. By science, in a perfect face, the upper lip should be only one-third shorter than the lower lip. And it is the case for Marlon Brando exactly. The upper lip to lower lip ratio gives his face a very balanced look. The less handsome part of Brando's face is his nose width to mouth width ratio. His nose is too wide. But does it damage the overall appearance of his face? Because his nose is so distinctive, strong, and well-defined, it matches perfectly with the actor's gaze. Such a unique and striking collaboration of a strong nose and piercing eyes helped to challenge the traditional standards of masculinity of his era. In conclusion of this part of the video, we will say that as people age, their facial features can change. Marlon Brando, like many other actors, encountered some changes in his face as he grew older. However, even in his later years, he still retained many of the facial features that made him handsome in his youth. Brando's strong jawline, high cheekbones, and distinctive nose remained prominent and well-defined even as he grew older. His eyes were still intense and expressive, and his full, expressive mouth was still capable of conveying a wide range of emotions. However, with age, wrinkles and lines appeared on his face, which are a natural part of the aging process. Brando's face also gained some weight, which could make his features less defined than before, but he still kept most of his distinguished appearance. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you don't mind supporting small creators and getting more quality content recommended by YouTube. Part 2 Body Inspection In his younger years, Marlon Brando had a strong and athletic build. He was known for being in good physical shape and for taking care of his body. Brando often trained and exercised regularly to maintain his physique. He was also known to be a method actor, and he often put a lot of work into physical preparations for his roles. A good example of this could be his preparation for his role in the film On the Waterfront. Brando trained with a professional boxer to learn the sport and develop a more athletic, and muscular body. He also put a lot of work into his diet and nutrition, which helped him to maintain his physique and to fuel his training. His body type was considered to be athletic and masculine, with well-defined muscles, broad shoulders, and a narrow waist. 
This physique was in line with Hollywood's ideal of masculinity, which is why Brando was considered attractive and appealing. His body helped him to portray characters realistically and added to his performances. However, as the actor got older, he became less physically active and started to gain weight, which affected his overall appearance. This is a common thing that happens to many people as they age, and it's not unique to Brando. Despite that, his acting talent and magnetic presence remained throughout his career and made him a Hollywood icon. What should a person do to achieve a physique similar to Marlon Brando in his younger years? First of all, it is necessary to focus on a combination of strength training, cardio, and diet. Here is a short to-do list. Develop a workout routine that includes strength training exercises such as weightlifting and resistance training. This will help to build muscle and improve overall fitness. Incorporate cardio exercises such as running, cycling, or swimming to improve cardiovascular fitness and burn calories. Follow a healthy diet that is high in lean protein, fruits, and vegetables, and low in processed foods and sugar. Eating a diet rich in nutrients will help to fuel workouts and promote muscle growth. Stay hydrated and drink enough water to support muscle recovery and overall body function. Stay consistent and dedicated to the workout and diet regimen. Consistency is key to achieving results. Get enough sleep and recover. Rest is important for muscle growth and recovery. We have just provided you with a workout routine and diet plan for Marlon Brando, which we sourced from multiple interviews and online sources. Brando's workout and diet plan may be tailored to your specific needs and goals. For that, it makes sense to consult a doctor or a qualified fitness professional. Part 3. Impact on Fashion and Minds Marlon Brando had a significant influence on fashion during his time as an actor. He was known for his unique and individualistic style, which included wearing leather jackets, tight-fitting t-shirts, and jeans. This style was in line with the ideal of masculinity of his time and was considered edgy and rebellious. Let's look at Brando's iconic role in the film The Wild One. As the leader of a motorcycle gang, he wore a leather jacket and tight-fitting jeans. Thanks to this, he helped to popularize the bad boy or style and influenced the fashion of the 1950s. The leather jacket, in particular, became a symbol of rebellion and nonconformity. It was widely imitated by young men who wanted to emulate Brando's style. Brando's performances in films like A Streetcar Named Desire and On the Waterfront helped to establish a new standard of masculinity. In Hollywood, a real man was defined by a strong, athletic build and a rugged, masculine appearance. This influenced the fashion of the time, which began to focus more on a athletic wear, and masculine clothing. Marlon Brando's handsomeness and masculinity were often mentioned by his colleagues and critics. Here are a few quotes that specifically mention his physical appearance. Marlon Brando was the most handsome man I had ever seen. He was gorgeous, shared her opinion actress Kim Novak. Marlon Brando was the most beautiful and charismatic man I had ever met. He was truly handsome, said actress and singer Eartha Kitt. Marlon Brando was one of the most handsome and virile actors of his time, announced in his article, film critic David Thompson. Marlon Brando was a stunningly handsome man with a powerful and magnetic presence, mentioned film critic Roger Ebert. Part 4. Plastic Surgeries and Conclusion we couldn't find any credible sources that indicate that Marlon Brando underwent any plastic surgery. He was always known for his natural features, so it is unlikely that he would have wanted to alter his appearance through surgery. It's also worth noting that plastic surgery was less common during the time of his acting career and was not as widely accepted as it is today. Marlon Brando was considered one of the most handsome actors of his time by millions. His handsomeness was undeniable and it was a major part of his appeal as an actor. And Brando's good looks were not just physical. He also had a magnetic and charismatic presence. He had a commanding screen presence that was both powerful and captivating. Brando was also known for his off-screen personality, which was often described as enigmatic and mysterious. His unconventional approach to acting and his willingness to take on challenging roles made him a unique and exciting figure. All in all, Marlon Brando had striking look. 
His acting talent and unique personality combined with rare features made him a Hollywood icon. Do you agree that Marlon Brando was no less handsome in his final years than in the time of his youth? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel where we regularly analyze the faces of famous actors, models, singers, and other celebrities. Stay with us and perhaps one day we will uncover the mystery of ultimate beauty together.